Hi, this is Chris with Mandate Mondays, and I'm very excited because this week we're actually in York, Maine, in the beach area just on Short Sands, really in the heart of the city, checking out a really cool distillery, Wiggly Bridge Distillery. It all started here before they opened up the barn just a few miles from here. Let's go check it out. I had the amazing opportunity to sit down with the master distiller of Wiggly Bridge Distillery. Okay. My name's David Woods. Um, I'm one of the founders, along with my son, David Woods II, of Wiggly Bridge Distillery in New York, Maine. Uh, we were established in 2012. We have actually two uh, distilling facilities, this one here at the barn and a smaller distillery where we started uh, in the center of York Beach. It all came over a uh, family dinner conversation. Uh, my son mentioned that he wanted to build a still and make whiskey in his basement. And for the next couple weeks, it was roll, rolling around in my head. So um, I'm very fortunate in life. I've worked pretty hard. And I have a home in the Caribbean, a little island called Montserrat. And I was having lunch with the prime minister one day and asked him what their distillation laws were. And he said they didn't really have any and I asked if I could build a still and make some bush rum. He said, yeah, sure. And uh, so we sent down some copper and uh, David came down and we built a 15 gallon pot still and started making bush rum. We discovered about a year later, you could get a federal permit um, to produce spirits in the United States legally. 18 months went through the permitting process. We were approved uh, March 25th-ish, uh, 2012. Um, went through the state and then decided are we going to do this or not. Had a building down at the beach and we did the fit up and uh, put the distillery in there. At that point in time we had to let my wife know what was going on. Uh, she wasn't overly thrilled with the idea and uh, we opened up July 3rd of 2012. The Wiggly Bridge is in town, it's the world's small suspension bridge. Uh, it was built in 1929 by Hussey, Man Hussey Manufacturing. Um, they're still around. Uh, they primarily make all the stadium seating used, um, like in Foxborough and Fenway Park and things like that. Um, a Girl Scout troop um, in 1930, I think it was, coined the name Wiggly Bridge um, because when you walked around over it, um, it would sway and wiggle a little bit. Um, significance for me, uh, when I was in high school, that's where we used to have parties. So it sort of was apropos um, when I was thinking about uh, doing the distillery with my son. Uh, bourbon, bourbon. That is my and my son's uh, preferred spirit. I like bourbons and rye. So we developed an ultra high rye bourbon. Uh, we're 58% corn, 37% rye, 5% malted barley. Um, built a 60 gallon still for down there. We build all our stills even now. And um, started doing 50 gallon fermentations. And we kept it really small. Um, out of pocket, we opened the place up for less than $25,000. We were aging in five gallon barrels uh, for nine months. Um, we were asked to submit our bourbon to the Washington Invitational Tasting Competition. Um, and the very first product we produced, we received a bronze medal on. And the most important thing, you get a copy of all the judges' tasting notes. And primarily to distill down <laughs> the, um, what the judges were saying, um, your product spot on, bigger barrels, more time. Three weeks ago, we released our bottled and bond bourbon, which is a four and a half year old product, aged in 53 gallon barrels. It's quite nice. Well, we started with the bourbon because bourbon is one of the more difficult spirits to make well. And again, where this is all self-taught, I figured we'd do the most difficult one first to see if we were any good at it. And then everything else should be easier. And it really turned out that way. Um, so we did the white whiskey and the bourbon. White whiskey's just a very briefly aged, aged version of our bourbon. Uh, we then uh, released uh, two rums 
and that's just because I was making rum down in Montserrat. And we use uh, two grades of Caribbean molasses and we do the fermentations. After the rums, we released a vodka. Uh, then we released a gin. And last fall, we released three agave expressions. Um, all of our spirits have gotten at least a bronze medal. Um, the gin has received a gold in best of category. The agaves have received double gold in best of categories at the Seattle uh, International Spirit Competition. Um, trade associations, ADI, ASCA, we've gotten golds and silvers and bronzes on our various other spirits. Well, we do um, typical tours. Uh, Monday through Friday, we do uh, tours are provided by the staff at uh, 12 and 3. You book them on our website. Uh, Saturdays and Sundays, we offer a founder's tour, which is given by myself or my son. Uh, that's at noontime. Uh, again, that's booked on the website. Um, the staff tour takes about an hour and a half, and we give a really good explanation about what we do. Um, the staff is extremely well trained. Uh, we get some really nice uh, customer feedback on the um, knowledge that everybody has that works here. Uh, the Founders Tour is a little bit different. Uh, that tour is a minimum of two hours and I've had it go six. Nothing really is off bounds as far as information that we'll give. There's a couple things that we keep proprietary. I feel that everybody should learn that on their own. Make the mistakes, you'll get the knowledge. Um, but there's some people that will get really into the weeds with, um, and they're just really turned on. And it typically ends up, we start everybody off with a cocktail on all the tours, um, and we finish up with the tasting. And sometime of the tasting, we do a little bit of barrel evaluation, and uh, just sort of let it freewheel and go in the direction that it's going to go. Uh, we do cocktail classes. Um, during the summertime, we do them twice a month. During the wintertime, we do them once a month. Uh, we do a distiller for a day program, which we do once a quarter. Um, and that is a full day, maximum four people. Um, and we tell people to wear some clothes that you don't mind getting dirty because you're going to get dirty. And they will do everything we do in the course of a day from mashing to stripping to spirit run to dumping barrels to filling barrels to doing bottlings, hydrating yeast, um, checking uh, the fermenters and understanding specific gravity and heat loads and things like that. We have had people come to it from Europe, from the West Coast, um, Canada, um, and like I said, we do that at least once a quarter every now and then we'll do them a little sooner um, people want private ones and we will set those up also next time you're visiting the beaches in york maine remember to pop by and visit the wiggly bridge distillery